Day two in Spain. Uh, we started our trek on this day and uh, it was kind of a mistake. <laughs> uh, the day before we traveled for so long, we were so tired and we were planning on getting up early this morning and heading out on the trek. Well, early in the morning turned out we got up at 11 a.m. <laughs> we were tired. And the trek started here in Pomferrato. That was the Knight Templar's Castle, uh, which is the way goes right past that. And this is going through um, Pomferrato. This was our first way sign that we came upon. And it's pretty exciting. You just follow those signs and the yellow arrows, and it will take you all the way across Spain to Santiago. It wasn't very long after that we entered the vineyards of uh, uh, near Cacabelas. And uh, unfortunately, the grapes don't taste good. <laughs> I tried some, but they were the uh, Tempranillo grape, which is used for making their famous uh, red wines in Spain. And their red wines are tasty. I'll guarantee you that. We drank a lot of uh, Tinto, as they call it in the, in the restaurants. And uh, it was good. And right away, we saw the old architecture. And even though it was so old, you know, the flowers everywhere, uh, they were proud of what they had. Uh, there's a stork nest in uh, Calabrianos, and uh, there's way markers there. shows you which way to go to Santiago, and it's still many miles away, but that's how you get there. And you see that they never tear anything old down. They just add new to it, above it or something. It's uh, <laughs> It was amazing. You know, how some, of these, some of these buildings were, you know, like centuries old. Uh, and if your feet got hot, you pick a trout stream. And that water was cold. I mean cold, like 40 degrees. It was, I couldn't believe it. And here's some of the vineyards at Villafranca. And if you're wondering what you got to drink, there's uh, these drinking fonts are, are all on the way and they're marked on your uh, guidebook. And this is a typical main street of the little towns. Uh, this is Fuente, which was just a little bitty town. And here's another way marker. You see the, kind of washed up, you can see the, uh, arrow sign on there and that's how you get to Santiago. Have a good one!